So congratulations, Colin. Let's talk about strategy because you did definitely take a few risks on your final round. Was that a deliberate strategy on your part? Obviously, everyone's talking about 16, but there was a whole sort of tone to your game that day. Yeah, there, there was obviously a buildup. Um, specifically, if we're talking about 16, before the week on Wednesday night, before the tournament, I had zero plans on going for it. I, had, I was never going to hit driver. I thought the tees were going to be a little farther back. I was never going to be able to reach it. Um, and thankfully they moved the tees up. So, you know, you just have to adjust to certain things like that. I think that's why golf is amazing because every shot, every day, nothing's ever the same. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I looked at my caddy, I told him, let's just hit driver. I, I'm feeling it. This is what it's meant to be. Um, and this is our moment. Obviously things worked out tremendously. Um, and now we're sitting here, uh, a PGA championship champion. Now you literally turned pro just last year and you made 22 straight cuts, the longest streak since Tiger. Do you see a record number of majors in your future? <laughs> um, you know, I hope so. Um, you know, there, there's no ceiling for me. I just want to keep winning. And after winning this past week, you know, there, there's obviously going to be a lot of more work that's going to be needed to put in uh, to win and to get to those, uh, you know, major number uh, of wins. Um, but, you know, for me, I just got to enjoy, I have to enjoy this one. I have to keep moving forward, learn from it. Um, but, it, you know, it gave me a taste of what it's like to be a major champion. And I love it. You know, I love being in this spot. Uh, you know, I want to be in it again. Um, so I really look forward to seeing what the majors are like, because this is what all the best players look forward to. Yes, every other event matters to me. I still want to win. I want to go out every single week and play well. Um, but I, I have that extra, you know, sense of what it feels like to, to win a major now. Speaking of which, you were FaceTiming right afterwards as you were waiting for the other players to come in. Was it your parents? What did they say? There was a lot of talking and laughing. Uh, yeah, it was them. Uh, they were just <laughs> screaming. There was no talking. There was a lot of screaming. Uh, my mom had no clue how to kind of angle the camera. They were covering the camera. Uh, my brother's 17. So both my parents, you know, my mom and dad, my brother were just so excited. Um, you know, a small little story. They had a balloon flying to the yard. Uh, it was a number one balloon and that's all. They had no clue where it came from, but it was sitting there since Friday. They never touched it. Um, and I think that balloon just means a little something special uh, after this entire week finished off. Oh my gosh, I hope they ran out and <laughs> caught it before it blew away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. You're a golden bear. You were at UCAL for the last four years, Bachelor's of uh, Business Administration, interestingly. So what would your top business ideas for the game of golf be, particularly right now? Oh, my God. Um, there, there are so many. I mean, you look at the state of, of where we're at, obviously, with all the quarantine and COVID. And, um, you know, I, I think golf being back, we're very fortunate to do what we love every single day, come out and play against the best players in the world. Um, it sucks that we have no fans. But if you look at the sport of golf, I think we're doing uh, amazing. You know, you look at everyone, people that have never played golf, people that have played golf but stopped playing golf, everyone, uh, no matter what their age, I think is getting into it because it is something that you can do very safely as long as, you know, you stay away from uh, large crowds. And uh, it's been really cool to see a lot of my friends pick up the game over the past couple months, uh, especially with me coming back and playing and playing pretty well. Um, so I think there's, you know, a lot of business opportunities come that, you know, that stretch of golf, um, of just, you know, any type of golf, you know, whether it's recreational country club, um, tournaments, uh, you know, whatever it is, I think someone and, and everyone is trying to do something golf related in their house, because, uh, I know I, I got to a point where, you know, I was almost tired of just sitting on the couch and watching TV during these past few months. Well, it's interesting. We just did a story today here at Bloomberg based on data, visual data that shows that one of the top visited, you know, venues right now are golf courses around the country, obviously for those with the means. And of course, TPC Harding and the PGA Championship was the top uh, ranked watched show on Sunday or a uh, few hours of play on Sunday. So okay. there's that to bring to your sponsors. What are you going to be telling them when they when they try and, and do a deal with you if they say that, you know, it's a uh, it's going to be a less watched sports from now on. Yeah. How are you going to, well, you going to play your sponsors? <laughs> um, well, it's great to know that this was, you know, one of the most watched things uh, for a while now. Um, it, it's cool to be in that position and obviously get the TV time. But, you know, my sponsors, Omega, Zurich, um, TaylorMade, Adidas, Ther Therabody, um, you know, they've all been part of that group that has helped 
grow and, and build me to where I'm at now. I wouldn't be here without them. You know, I think everyone, my family, my coaches, my caddy, uh, my agents, everyone, you know, even my girlfriend, like everyone that I've kind of built this small group around me um, has only helped me get to where I am because without them, I wouldn't have these extra little steps and making things a little easier every single week um, just to help me out. And uh, I don't think they get enough credit. I wish they can, I could give them more credit. Um, you know, I, I wish my name had every, everyone else's name next to it, um, at the end of the day, but unfortunately it is just my name. Um, but you know, I'm very thankful for them. Um, yeah. You know, that's Speaking of your name, I think it was Jim Nance that said that you would be one of the few golfers known for your first name in the future, which is a big, <laughs> big forecast to try and live up to. But the only other Colin I know from golf is Colin Montgomery and he only has one L. Do you think your parents gave you the second L on purpose? I have no clue, but I love the two L's. I think two L's looks a lot more even. It looks a little better. Um, yeah, you know, it, to, to have Jim Nance say that is mind blowing. Um, it's pretty special. Who knows, you know, what that'll turn out to be. But, you know, it, it'll be nice. Uh, hopefully people know how to pronounce my name. The starter yesterday mispronounced my last name. Um, and that gave me a little laugh to start off the round for sure. That's for sure. You're a trailblazer in many, many different ways. Colin, what's your next goal? You're already number two for the FedEx standings this year. You know, my next goal is to uh, win Northern Trust. You know, that's, that's next up on the list at TPC Boston. Um, the playoffs is a three-week stretch, obviously finishing at Eastlake. And yeah, you know, if we talk about the next month, that's the goal is to win the FedEx Cup playoffs, uh, to be the last man standing and win that event. But you know, I still have two more events before that. And if I start getting ahead of myself, uh, things can go sideways. So, uh, you know, I'm going to sit back, enjoy this week for sure, and really cherish what just happened. Uh, but I really look forward to what's next.